Hello all, welcome to Auto Aspects. This is a short video series, about the basic terms in vehicle dynamics. In this video we can understand, the basics of, spring rate. So what is spring rate? It is, the amount of force required, to compress a spring, by one inch. If the rate of the spring is linear, then its rate is unaffected, by the load dropped on the spring. To put them pictorically, consider a spring at its free length. Let us consider the deflection here in mm. Now, drop a force of 50 newton onto it, if it compresses the spring by 1 millimeter, then, the spring rate is 50 newton per millimeter. If it compresses the spring by 2 millimeters, then the spring rate is 25 newton per millimeter. We have the calculation listed, and also the stiffness curve for a linear rate spring. To proceed further, let us look in, what are the types of spring rates we have. Linear rate, progressive rate, and, dual rate springs. Pros of a linear rate spring, it is very simple in terms of its design, also, it is very cost effective, it helps to maintain moderate suspension travel. Whereas, the major drawback, with this linear rate spring is, they do not fit in maintaining or supporting a long travel of the suspension. To accommodate long travel of suspension, we have other two springs, one among them is, progressive spring. A progressive spring is one which has three to four spring rates, accommodated in a single set of spring. The major pros, of this kind of spring is, they are excellent springs, for long travel suspension systems. But to achieve this, we have bear the following's cons, these springs are bit expensive, they are very complex in design. Fails to maintain consistent ride height is linear spring. Now let's move on to, dual rate spring. These are the springs with, two different rate, the spring accommodates, a softer rate followed by a stiffer spring rate. They are comparatively cost effective, than progressive springs, they helps in maintaining, proper ride height. Design is not complex as progressive springs. These, dual rate spring, has its own limitations on different road profiles. So these are the few basics aspects related to spring rate. Thanks for watching. Professor Boffin, signing off. Cheers.